Welcome to PubSite, the easy to use website builder designed specifically for books. This is an introduction video which will show you the main features of PubSite and how to use them. At the end of this video, you'll be able to set up your own website in less than an hour. So let's get started. You're going to begin at pubsite.com. That is pub-site.com. We offer a 14 day free trial so you can try it out and see what works for you. There is no credit card required at that time, so go ahead and click the Get Started button. First, you want to enter your web address. This can be your name, book title, or anything else, and then it's going to be pubsitepro.com. This is a fully functioning domain that you can use, or if you would like, you can go register your own domain name of your choice at another place, for example, GoDaddy. All you need to do after that is put in your email address, password, and click sign up after you click agree. Once you click sign up, you'll be taken to the back end of your website. You'll be able to see your website name here, and I'm going to show you quickly how to customize your design. You can either go to the design tab or you can click customize your design. Either one will take you to the same place. First, I'll show you the homepage layout option. I click that link and you can see that there's many options on how you can display your home page. The current one we have is the author bio and then our blogs underneath it. But if you would like to change that, you can simply click whichever one you'd like. So maybe we'll do the bio, one of our books, and then one of our blogs or multiple blogs. Once you're done with that, it's already going to be successfully saved. So you'll go back into the design tab and see this is my current theme. I can tell because it's highlighted in current. And this is another option that I've been customizing. So let's see the current theme and maybe I wanna change what it looks like already. So I'm gonna click customize and a new tab will open up. We're gonna say continue editing. And you can see that this is what it looks like currently. So maybe I just wanna change the colors. I'm not really a big fan of the colors or the fonts, anything. I'll show you how to do that. We have our colors here, and if you just hover over each color, it will tell you what it's for. So, for example, this is the button color. You can go to the button and see that's the matching color. And this is the button hover, which means when we hover over the button, that's the darker color we can see here. So each color is for a separate thing. So if I wanted to change the color, I would just go to the magic slider, and I would move it to whichever combination I would like. And you can also customize it to be exactly how you would like it. The magic slider is just nice because it gives you a good combination altogether. So that's an option. If you choose to do that, just make sure you always click save. Moving on to fonts, we can see that there are a few options up here on what text we want to change. So currently you can see I'm under site header and logo text. So this is our header and you can see that matches. If you want to change it, just click any of these options. And then you can also change anything else just by clicking in that specific menu. Once you're done, always remember to click save. Then we also have another video that explains how to add your own header into your site, but that will be explained in another video. Now that you know a few things about the design, next I'm going to show you the Authors tab. And this is how you're going to add the author into your website. As you can see, we already have our sample author here. And if you don't have any author yet, just click the Add Author button right here and imp simply input your information. So you'll have your full name and your short biography. Once you click Add Author, you'll see that there's an option to add then your full biography. So let me show you what it looks like to have one already created. I'm going to click the pencil icon here to edit. So you can see I have the photo here. I can either remove this image and upload another one or simply double tap. But for now, we'll leave that. We have our full name, short biography, and full biography. So just make sure when you're done, you're always going to click update author. That way it saves any information you have. And then I'll click quickly review these options at the top. So we have social links and these you're just going to go to your website for your Facebook, Twitter, any of your social medias and make sure you copy the link for your page, not just 
um, Twitter's homepage. It's for your homepage. So you can paste all those in there and they will show up into the button icons on your website. Next is an option to add an audio or video embed code. This is another video we will show you and that will be on our YouTube channel as well as our help site. Next is the appearances page. So this one's very simple. If you would like to add an appearance, you're just going to click add and then you can see it's a simple form you're going to fill out. Let me show you what one looks like that's already filled out. So you can see we have the name, the URL, date, time, and then the details. And then if you want to remove one, you just simply click the trash can icon. Now that's it for the authors page. Next, we're going to go into titles and products. This is where we're going to add our books. So we can either add a new product or we can edit an old product. So if you want to edit, just click the pencil icon, just like we did for the author. But if you'd like to add a new product, click this button here and you will see you have plenty of options to fill out. So let me show you what it looks like um, for a book that's already. All of this information is not required and you can add whatever you would like. So let me go through a brief explanation of these tabs. We're going to have our title and product here and then we're going to do our price. We do not use the dollar sign. You can add the ISBN 13 code here or any other product code if you have one. And then a subject categories. You can manage your categories here. And then let's go to the book details. So we have our author. This is just a sample. This is clearly not the author of the book. Um, and the subtitle. Like I said, these are all optional. If, if you would like to fill out the page count, go ahead and do that. Binding, publication date, etc. Next, there is a option to add a short description of your book and a long description. There's a lot of videos where we show you how to add links and images. I can show you really quickly. Let's just copy a certain number of text that you would like to link. Click this link icon here and go ahead and click browse. Then I already have this image uploaded or you can upload from your computer. I'm going to double click that. And now the author text will link to that author photo. An option you can do is click target and click new window. That way it doesn't take the viewer off of your site. And there you can see now it's linked. Moving on, we're going to go to images. You can see we already have the book image uploaded. I'll show you what that looks like. You can delete this one by clicking the X, add a new image, and then you have options that you may have already uploaded, or you can click up upload and grab it from your laptop or computer. And then you'll see it there. Next is SEO. We highly recommend filling this section out. Additional settings, purchase links. So here you can add the booksellers or retailers of your choice. So these are just for an example. You can see we have Books A Million, Barnes & Noble, Amazon, but there are a lot of different options that you can choose from. And always just make sure you're copying the correct link. Once you're done, always click Update Product, of course. We have an option to add an audio and video embed code. This you can grab from YouTube, Vimeo, or other any other content provider. So this you're going to want to make sure that you're grabbing the embed URL and you're not just pasting the link from the website that you're choosing from. You're pasting the embed code. And then here are other options. So go ahead and click update product. That was a brief explanation on how to add a book. And then you'll see here your book will be listed here. Next, I will show you pages and navigation. So you can see here, this is our main navigation men menu. And this is what shows up on our website. We have home, about, books, blog, contact. And I'm just going to show you how to create a new page and how to change that main navigation menu. If you want to add a brand new page, you're going to click add new page up here. And I'll show you an example. This could be the about the author page and you'll see that the link will automatically update for you. And then always remember to add your SEO and then add page. 
the page will show up then at the very bottom. So we're just gonna drag it over to the left in order for it to be on the main menu. Let's say you wanted to add a photo gallery or a blog. A blog page is going to be something that's already pre-made because it's going to be special for blogs. If you want to just add a simple page, that's something you can do through here, AKA a photo gallery. So you could see the difference and it's really easy to tell is just if it's a blue page or a white page. So a blue page is something that's you cannot create and it's already created. So I'm just going to grab blog and I'm going to drag it to the left over here and add it wherever I want it on my menu. Whenever you do any sort of changes, just make sure you click save. And then you'll see your pages were successfully saved. If you want to remove a page, you're just going to drag it to the right hand side and this will give you the option to come back to it later. You're not necessarily deleting it. Just make sure you're always saving your changes. And that is a brief explanation on how to use PubSite.